This video is going to be reaction to the description of Black Sonar, episode 3. The reaction is now going to commence. Okay, so that means he's a pretty high level. Yeah. Rank A. Oh, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're not alone. You have 10 slots. Oh. Oh. Indeed. Yeah, with the death penalty. Indeed. What do you want? Oh! <laughs> Good to know. Oh. Okay, important. Cool! Okay, we'll be fighting a demon ward. Alright. More pets? Hmm. So he was buffed. Alright. I guess so. Indeed. So that I can review everything. Mm, kind of freedom. Okay, fair enough. Oh, she looks like the mother of the girl at the reception. Is she? I mean, I, I'm just trying to make that guess. Rank B. All right. Are we gonna meet someone else today? Technically, he isn't obviously, but everyone else thinks that. Oh, some berries. These sandwiches actually do look good. Yeah, tell me about the other worlders. Smart looking pretty boys and girls to reincarnate. Alright. Indeed. To her it isn't. Yeah, the demon ward. Also, camera, why are you doing this to me? You got a sneak of demon kings? Just wanna clarify something. I know apparently that's something that many people hate in this guy, it's always the same thing. I've not watched a single East Sky in which they've actually be been fighting the demon king. I haven't. I haven't to this day. And I've watched many Iskai. Uh, there has been Demon Kings with Iskai I've watched, but they've never actually fought the Demon King. I mean, I, I've seen Iskai where they say that they fight the Demon King, but I disagree. They, they, that's not about what the anime is about. Anyway, I'm sorry, I just wanted to rant on the fact that I've actually not seen enough Iskai, in which they actually go on ahead and fight the Demon King. I feel like everyone is trying to subvert it, but I don't even know what they're subverting, so... Okay, doesn't matter. Yeah, he's going to buy a female slave, yep. I mean, you know what? It's nice to have a realistic main character. You're at that age. Yeah, but why her? If it doesn't matter. Oh, so you can build her however you want. So you want a caster? Huh, that one. Fire Dragon's Curse. Oh, good question. Fire Dragon King's Curse. Rank A White Magic. I mean, if you can break the curse, then that's just perfect. Just don't touch him for a little bit until the curse is broken, okay? Oh, wow, so messed up. It's very messed up. Oh, that's so sad. Don't, don't, it's messed up. Ooh, good question. Oof. Now that explains your behavior. He has a special skill, right? The cursing. Well, he really did change things, didn't he? Now, I am curious though, how did he do it? It worked? White magic. Okay. Oh, good thing you didn't use all your skill points then. Oof. Okay. So, is he actually gonna summon her at the end of the season or maybe after that? Okay, I mean, I guess she didn't mind. Oh, don't worry, it's gonna be worth it. Uh, oh, is it the mate outfit? Oh, he dropped it. Tell me about your skill points. Now I'm actually more excited about that, to build her as a character. This is the messed up world though. I don't know that they're playing it off as it's not a big deal, because in this world it wouldn't be. A mate outfit, yep. I still wonder, why don't more people stay at her end? Oh, you let her choose. Okay, so you're giving her so. Okay, 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 okay. That's that's a good thing. Come on, be a man. Don't do anything. But then again, it will be so difficult to sleep. Sleep on the floor. I mean, I, I just constructed that sentence. Ah, demon girl. Okay, okay. Right? That's what I want to say. I will watch the next one immediately, and so I shall. But. Because I'm watching the next one immediately, I really want to rush to the discussion. I know how a longer discussion I guess is episode 4. Because I just want to discuss my overall opinions of everything. I'm having fun. This is really enjoyable. Uh, I am liking what is happening. Uh, he re definitely doesn't have any qualms about the decisions he's making. He does understand the fact that this is a messed up world and just... I mean, it isn't as messed up... How can I say it? I enjoy that we are being shown a magical world where there are messed up things in it. But they're not being overly dr drastized. I don't know. Uh, overly shown. The fact that obviously slavery is a bad thing is not overly presented. I feel like they understand that the audience should know that the fact that he is supporting such things is not a good thing. But obviously, I'm fine with it because I think it makes perfect logical sense. Even if he doesn't want to change that, I mean, it would be stupid of him to be thinking of doing something like that. 
right now where he's pretty much kind of a newbie, doesn't know what's happening and even though he's very powerful, apparently as one of the strongest adventurers, he still doesn't understand many things about the world. So I'm perfectly fine for everything that's happening and I am really curious to see what is going to be happening in the future. But as I was saying, I enjoyed that we actually got to see a wholesome episode, even though it started with a very, very messed up thing. And also, he definitely showed why it's a good thing not to use all of your skill points, especially in such a world. Yeah, honestly, but then again, if you don't, if you do use all of your skill points in order to get certain skills, then it would be very be beneficial. I don't know. Uh, I guess it worked out for him in the end. Now, clearly, you know, Demon Guru is going to be the next addition to the harem. And we'll see how many more is he gonna be getting by the end of this. I guess Demon Girl he can get in his summoning stuff though, right? Or summoning area thing. I don't know. Currently he has only three summons and it seems like he's gonna be getting ten at max, which Okay, that's cool. Maybe he's gonna get access to even more summons in the future, but they'll be like Cloto where they can't exactly speak. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, apparently Cloto, even though he was the weakest at the very beginning he was equivalent to a 34 level level 34 adventurer which was that noble guy which we learn we did actually yeah that's a very important thing i should talk about a little bit before i jump to the next episode apparently uh that guy in the last episode was a noble to, from another place that's that is why the guild master was unable to take action however once he got enough evidence he just got rid of him and he's gonna face the death penalty which yeah once again showing this world is brutal but there is just some Awesome and cool things in it as well. And I really love the Guildmaster. So he definitely saw through everything that Kelvin had in mind. And he absolutely won him over. So I guess everything is going well. Once again though, the joke of apparently a demon lord is something that happens in every sky. Absolutely honestly, I don't get it. I do not get it. Like, maybe it's me. Maybe I haven't watched enough this guy. Maybe I have not watched him till the end. But I swear, just... I've not watched a single Iskai in my life. And I've watched a lot of Iskai. I love Iskai. Whenever Iskai comes out, I watch it. I just do. Whatever. It can be trash, I watch it. May own time if I must. So, I love Iskai. Absolutely. Just adore them. And I haven't watched one in which there has been a focus on actually fighting the Demon Lord. Obviously enough, in every single one there is kind of a presence of Demon Ward, but honestly I've watched more Isakai where the main character is a Demon Ward, or maybe the Demon Ward is a good character. There always has been a Demon Ward, yes, well maybe not always, I even remember Isakai without it. But honestly most of the time there's a twist like, once again, the Demon Ward is a good guy, the main character is a Demon Ward, or maybe they actually work with the Demon Ward, so I frankly haven't watched enough Isakai where the main character just wants to go ahead and slaughter the Demon Ward. Okay, honestly, th this could be one of them as well, or because the main character is a summoner, so maybe he's gonna make a contract with the Demon Lord instead of actually beating them. So, we'll see. I guess that's a prediction for the end of the show. But hey, for now, this was very good. I really enjoyed the Guildmaster once again. He seems like he's the most powerful character we've seen so far, except the Goddess, I guess. We kind of seen her image, but anyway. We'll see what is the deal with everything. I am enjoying the addition of Elfil, which have what that name? Really, you couldn't come up with anything better. Just I don't know. I don't know. Oh, obviously, enough. He is gonna be using her by just training her and having her, you know, his party. But he is giving her a choice, and he will be fair about it. So I feel like that's satisfying enough for me. Honestly, I think it would be interesting if we do get another show where the main character is not. I mean, how should I say this? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I was just thinking of Overlord, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I want to watch Overlord as well. As well uh, with a main character that's definitely not the good guy. But hey, uh, this one seems like he's going to try to make what's best do what's best for Elfie by making her make her own decision decisions and choose her own skills and become better overall, I suppose. And we'll see where that's gonna go. Obviously enough though, even though he's doing that, I'm certain he's very aware of the fact that because he broke her curse, because he's the one that got her, uh, she will be very dependent on him. So as much freedom as he might be willing to give her, I don't know whether he'll be okay with uh, she just saying something like, I wanna leave and live with that random guy. Something like that. 
I don't think you'll be okay with that, but hey, I don't think the show is gonna get into that. Obviously, you know, she's probably madly in love with him because he literally changed her life. Because she's been sold into slavery from being a baby, from the time she was a baby. And she's had this curse as well. So, yep, uh, it has been a horrible life for her. It really has been. And obviously, you know, the curse has made things even worse because the only type of affection and desire and people wanting her she's ever experienced was just as a slave and even worse is the fact that even that is something that she actually never attained because of her curse so yep she's someone that hasn't experienced any human con connection or rather any species connection because there are other creatures than humans in this world so yeah obviously you know Hugh is she's just part of the harem let's be honest she is and I assume Divan Garou is also gonna be part of the harem and maybe uh, many others but hey for now I'm excited for the next episode, we'll see how, we'll see how things are gonna go, and yep, I guess that's that, I just won't watch the next one right now. There's a video there, there's a there, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.